Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode 8 of our Direwolf 20 1.7.10 Feed the Beast Let's Play. Now, I'm right where we left off from the last episode, um, except I did a little bit of work down here. I made this machine called the Slice and Splice. And this machine is going to be really necessary uh, for us in doing what I want to do today. Now, I need a better food source. Um, from our old base we, in that uh, orchard biome, uh, we were able to get a lot of apples. Um, and that was, you know, that was a decent food source for uh, starting out. But I started to run out of apples, and I really want to get a better food source. So, you can see here I have a couple of uh, potatoes, and I made a really basic vanilla uh, potato farm here but obviously this is feed the beast I want to automate this and I think I also what I've been doing over here is uh, farming trees I've been cutting them down replanting all that fun stuff but I also want to automate getting some wood so that's what we're gonna do today is automate some farms for potatoes and automate a tree farm so let's go down here, and as I said, the reason the reason I made this slice and splice machine is because I want to make what's called a farming station from Ender.io, and we're going to make two of them. Um, this is what we're going to use to farm automatically our potatoes and our trees. So if we look at the recipe here, it needs some electrical steel, machine chassis, a Z-Logic controller, and this is why we need that slice and splice machine. Um, you put these ingredients in here, and you'll get that Z-Logic uh, controller. So we're going to make two of these. So I'm going to need some electrical steel, which we've made before. is iron, coal, and silicon. Let's see if we have any left over. Doesn't look like we do. So we're going to need, uh, I believe, just eight of that. So let's go. We have eight silicone down here. We'll get that. Got an extra one there. We'll go up and we're going to need a little bit more iron for all of our recipes. And we're going to need some iron bars. And we're also going to need two basic capacitors for our machine chassis. So for that, we're going to need eight gold, a couple of redstone. I'll just take a little bit. Um, and two copper. So we'll go in here, make those, and make those. And we're also going to need two diamond hosts. So let's get four diamonds, a couple of sticks, and there are the hose. And that was a weird noise. Um, and I'm also going to make this electrical steel, which requires, we said we're going to need eight. So we'll need eight iron, eight coal powder. And I don't believe I have any of that left over, so we're going to need 8 coal. We'll put that in the sag mill. And we will get our alloys only. 8 of that and 8 of that. And that will make us our electrical steel. So while that's cooking, we're going to... Let's put our Z-Logic controller in there. So we're going to need 2 more silicone. We'll put some of that in there gonna need this and this and we're also going to need that zombie head and luckily we don't have really a short of those because I've been killing mobs with my looting sword which is always nice and so this will go it'll take a lot of energy but I did put that octadic capacitor in there so obviously a pretty quick operation uh, that's the octadic capacitor from our old sterling generator um, so that looks like those are done. And the last thing we're going to need is these pulsating crystals, which is pulsating iron nuggets around a diamond. And these are made by an iron uh, ingot and an ender pearl. So we're going to need two iron here. And we're going to go up here. And I did do a little bit more hunting and got a couple more ender pearls. So we have plenty of those. And I will put those in there. So now this should uh, cook up, and we should have, after that, everything we need to make these. Actually, I forgot we're going to need two of um, these Z-Logic controllers. So let's get another zombie head. And put that. 
that in there. All right, so it looks like our pulsating iron is done. We'll get those into nuggets, get our controller, and let's make these. I'm gonna need two more diamonds. There's always something you forget, it seems like. And let's go down here, finish up making this. Got those, and I don't think this will work simply because the uh, diamond hose won't stack. So let's look at this recipe. We'll need, oh, uh, we're gonna need uh, another two of those pulsating crystals. So let's get a couple more ender pearls and diamonds while we're up here. Put those in here with two and two of those. Now you can see uh, a lot of the Ender IO recipes, kind of in the name of the mod, um, require a lot of Ender pearls. So we're definitely going to need to do something about that uh, in the future. But for now, I'm just going to get them by uh, hunting. Uh, so let's go up here and craft two more of those crystals. Go back down, and now I believe, what was the last item? The other hoe. So now we have two farming stations. Um, and as you can see, these require um, energy, and also the tools you're, you, you're gonna use to whatever, to harvest whatever you um, would plant. So for example, um, the our tree farm is gonna need axes, and our potato farm is going to need a hose. So what I want to do, I'm going to shift into bat mode here. Let's see if I can find it. Um, here we go. And we're going to run some uh, of our power cabling up to the surface here and see where this takes us. Alright, so that's a decent spot. Uh, we're pretty close to our main power. But before we do anything, let us sleep the night off here. All right, so I think I'm going to do our uh, potato farm first, and I'm going to get a hoe ready to put in the machine, because that's what's going to actually do the harvesting of the potatoes. Um, now, so these farming stations are pretty cool. Um, like I said, they'll automatically harvest whatever you want, um, and they'll do it in a 7x7 seven seven area, but you can... Um, you can actually upgrade that uh, using the capacitors. Um, I think, I'm not sure exactly the upgrade I know. I think the octadic capacitor upgrade allows you to um, increase it by a pretty big radius. Uh, but for now, for our purposes, I don't think we really need that. So we're just going to do a 7x7, seven seven, which is going to be 1, 2, 3 on that side. So we'll do it. Um, I'm actually going to go get a couple of stone hoses that I made to kind of um, lay out the outline and the other thing we're gonna need is obviously uh, something to hydrate the water or the uh, soil with that we're gonna uh, be that's gonna be uh, have the potatoes planted on. so let's harvest some of this clear out some of this dirt and we'll do one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So that's eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then we'll do that by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is going to be the outline of our potatoes. Now, if we one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three. This right here. Um, so somewhere, I think right here is where we'll, we'll do the middle, right there. Okay, so let's go get a bucket for a um, bucket of water because that, that will hydrate the whole area for us. Um, so there's my bucket and we'll get some water. Now I think what I can do is, uh, I think I have enough room back here to put both the tree farm and the 
a basic farm or the potato farm in here so this should be good that's gonna be one two three four five six seven and this is gonna be one two three four five six seven so right here is gonna be our potato farm area get it all nice and hoed and so that should be in the middle awesome now what I'm gonna do is put our farming station right over it, over our uh, water source so obviously we're going to need to run power to this um, so actually I don't really know how I'm gonna do that with that under there um, hmm didn't really think that through but for now let's just um, let me uh, get into bat mode here to make this a little bit easier so we're gonna get our power from our capacitor bank so I'm gonna configure this as an output uh, so that'll spare energy I'm going to disable this not that it matters if I can whoops I thought it was just a right click it's not really there we go and then we'll come up man always misplacing alright so now how do we want to do this I think I would like to um, I'm not sure if, hmm, I think that's fine how that is uh, but how am I gonna get power to it so for now I think what I want to do is destroy this source block I'll put that there and let's get down here and I hit some water I don't know where that came from um, so we're gonna go this should be it perfect so we'll run this along right up into our uh, farming station so now you can see it's getting power um, and it's telling us it doesn't have any seeds which is fine um, we can put in the seeds obviously we're going to use our potatoes so let's give it the tool it's going to need um, and I think what I'm going to do to remedy the water situation is just put uh, some water oh, um, some water sources along here and that should uh, hydrate all of the soil all right so let's get I think we should, should just need two sources one for here not there right there and one for over here now what I can do is put a uh, conduit facade on that later, but for now this will work. Fill this back up. And let's go get this. Well first let's uh, hoe the ground that became unhoed. And let's go get, fill this back up. And finally we'll go get some of our potatoes from this all right so that should be plenty actually I think we'll need 48 total to fill the whole thing I think I have some left over in the house that we can go get so fill this up to 48 if my math is correct 48 should be the maximum number for this farm so we'll put all 48 um, in here and we should see it planting um, our uh, potatoes and now I think 
it'll have zero left. Yep. So when these grow eventually, obviously it'll harvest. Um, it'll harvest the potatoes. So let's just see, for example, if I grow this one, it should harvest that. You can see it did there, and then it put the potatoes back in the inventory. Now you can lock um, these in place, but we don't really need to do that because all we're doing is um, is having potatoes in this farm. So you could have like I could have like half of this wheat and half of it potatoes, and just lock those into those certain spaces. Uh, but for now, this this will be fine. Um, so let's. Um, get something to put all of our harvested potatoes. Now, what we're going to need for this is just a chest, uh, any kind of chest. I think what I'll do is just make, I'll just make a gold chest for now. That should be plenty. Um, to fit this, I have some iron on it, and I'll need some wood. And then I think I'll get, uh, I'll do, we'll do our, um, tree farm right next to it um, and these are just kind of our starting basic farms um, but what we're going to need is some item conduits from Ender IO. so if we look we can see that I believe they'll need those um, pulsating iron nuggets that we got from the pulsating iron so we do have some left uh, eight we'll be we'll be able to get I think eight uh, yeah so that should be plenty for now so let's just get six of these and craft us some item conduits so if we go back up with our elevator we'll go over here put in our conduits and we can put this on extract mode which it is and we'll put our iron chest right above it. So, if we look here with our Yetta wrench, we'll change this to the up to insert, and we'll change, if we can get to it, that to extract. Um, hmm, I just realized something, I think put this to extract always active but that for some reason is not so it extracts from over here I wonder if hmm, this is my first time playing around with these so I'm not a hundred percent sure how they work um, if I do this I want to see where the uh, it'll put the potatoes that it harvests so it puts them over here. So what's going to happen eventually is these, uh, all of these will be filled up with 64 uh, potatoes. And then I think it'll uh, dump the ac excess potatoes into here and then they'll be pumped up. So we'll let that, so once that uh, continues running for a while, eventually we'll be able to, uh, we'll be making, uh, getting our profit in. But let's switch back to human mode and sleep this night off and when we wake up we're going to quickly do our uh, tree farm so let's see how many saplings I have in here only two saplings left and I have four on me as well uh, and then I'll make a diamond axe for our tree farm Alright, so again we're going to uh, make a 7x7 seven seven area. I'm going to switch back to bat mode so I can move around in those tight spaces more easily. And let's see, I'll, I'll do the um, the uh, tree farm over here. So if we lay out ourselves a little bit of a outline, this is 7, so this is going to be the middle. We'll have one, two, three, and then we'll have our farming station. And I'm just going to clear out a little bit more of this dirt here. So, we obviously again need to supply this with power. So, we'll do that again underneath here. And we're going to tap into this line over here. 
so how far over do we need to go? Looks like we'll be able to go right here. So we'll fill that back up and we'll get ourselves some energy conduits again over here under here actually I want to go another one down so now we can hook these up and we will have power to both our tree farm and our potato farm so we hook those up and you can see we're getting power uh, and then I'm just gonna do this so now that should have yep planted some of our saplings now again once it kind of harvests those um, we'll begin making more the planting buffer will fill up uh, wow one already grew so let's see oh no we have to put the axe in and then what we should see is boom harvested it and put them over here and now obviously I don't know um, kind of the rate at which this gets saplings back um, but it does have the oak wood it puts it in that other inventory so we'll do the same thing we did over here as we did in our potato one except for the fact that I forgot to get a chest for um, our tree farm so let's go get I'll just do a gold chest again um, in the future we'll definitely upgrade these to um, like barrels and just to increase our storage and eventually what I'm even going to do is automate the um, putting in of tools because eventually the durability on the hoe and the uh, axe in there it's eventually going to run out so for now uh, I'm just going to manually replace it but definitely in the future I will automate uh, replacing those do some auto crafting of the hoes and the axes and be able to put those back in there um, so let's get ourselves some conduits I'm actually going to switch back to our human mode and we will put one on the top there we go extract always active and if we put our chest up there on insert you can see our wood goes up there so these should be fully functional farms uh, which is awesome and what we can even do to even further this process is um, eventually there are mods that we'll get into eventually that speed up the growth of nearby stuff uh, like Botania um, I think blood magic has something but um, we're not going to get into those quite yet um, so um, I'm gonna take a cut here uh, figure out what I want to do uh, let these farms run for a while kind of give a uh, see how they keep going after um, running them for a while and I'll be right back alright guys I'm back and uh, I think I'm gonna wrap up the episode now here um, but one quick thing before we do that I want to do is I want to grow our potatoes a little bit faster um, I've been chopping down trees over here getting some more saplings there should be some more over here for us hopefully yeah we got two more three that's not very many um, four okay so like I said I want to speed up the growth of some of those uh, potatoes so what we're gonna do um, I wanna use extra utilities in order to do this so what I wanna do is make this uh, transfer node for liquids so we have that and I also want to get a pipe um, let's see extra utilities um, transfer pipe floating pipe to pipe so I think what we're gonna need is a tank actually so I think I want to use an open blocks tank here if I can see it don't know where is it um, I thought it was from open blocks I can't seem to find it here we go, a tank. Uh, so five glass panes and four obsidian. We'll get four obsidian and make a couple of glass panes. Boom, boom, boom. And 
We'll get two tanks. We really only need one, I think. Um, and also, I'm going to need, I think, some fluid ups. So do I have any heroes left over? I have four. That should be enough. Um, and I'm also going to need what's called a world interaction upgrade to put in this uh, uh, transfer node. Uh, so that's going to require... I have three plus four, seven, two of these. We'll make a, ourselves an iron pick. And I think we're going to need four more lapis. And that won't work because iron picks don't stack. But so now this is going to allow our transfer node to interact with uh, the world. And the one other thing, before I forget, I'm going to use is called the sprinkler, for also from open blocks, uh, which is going to require six more iron. I'm really running low on iron, uh, which is not good. I'm going to need to go caving again. Um, in between this episode and the next one, uh, but I will do that off camera, obviously. And we'll make ourselves a sprinkler. And I'm also going to want to get a little bit of bone meal. I have quite a bit. I uh, put a lot of the bones that I have in the sag mill in order to uh, get some bone meal. Um, so I'm going to put this over here now. I think what I want to do actually is go down a little bit more. So let's see. I think that should be a good, um, good depth. Uh, if I have that down there, I think I'm actually going to go down one more, if I can dig, there we go, now I'll put that down there, and I want to go to, I'll just go to bat form, I'm also going to need, I forgot, is a bucket, just to fill our, do I have any buckets left over? A lava bucket. So what I'll do is go down here and put some of the lava in there. I needed a little bit of fuel anyway. Um, so if we take one of those there, and I'll put a block here, and take another source block, put it over here, and I'm going to put our transfer node on top of that gravel block. We're going to go in here and put that in, and then we're going to get one of our pressurized fluid conduits, which should, I think, attach to that. Um, and we're going to do extract, always active, into these open blocks tanks, or just one. Now this should go insert, not extract. Insert and it's not working. Of course it's not. I don't know why it's not working. I thought it would work. I've done this before, but I don't quite. Oh wait. Now should you work? You got a source block under you. It does have water in it, but it's not taking. The oh yeah, it is. There we go. So that's working great. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Um. And now what we can do is put our sprinkler on top. I want to do it the other way. Like that. And this will, you can see it's using the water in that tank. And it's going to a sprinkler on our crops here, on our potatoes. Now, you can see, uh, I don't know the radius of this. It's probably pretty inefficient to be putting it right here because you can see I'm uh, watering this all this grass over here and this uh, dirt, and there's not even any potatoes planted on it. So ideally, I'd want this somewhere near the middle. But for now, it's, so it's not going to affect all of our crops, but for now, I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, and what it does is it actually it speeds up the growth um, of your crops. So you can see I'm going to get a lot of grass growing over here. Uh, but when we put that bone meal in, it even further speeds it up. So um, a lot of these potatoes are going to, uh, what, what, whichever ones it affects, they're going to be increased uh, growth. So if I, I'm just going to do a little bit of this manually. 
get some potatoes growing um, and just see our harvester in action, our farming station. Um, so I didn't uh, let it run very long, but you can see it's filling up with potatoes, and I guess it looks like there's only it's only putting 16 in each. So if we go over 16, I want to do a little bit more of this. Uh, hopefully, what will happen is um, it'll put the excess potatoes in this inventory over here. So let's just keep doing this. And we should, yep, see it put it in this inventory, and then this will take it out. Uh, and so this tree farm has been working. Uh, we got a little bit more logs in there. So this, uh, I think, is a good wrapping up point for our episode. Um, we got a basic uh, food uh, situation sorted out. We'll have a lot of potatoes, and we can even use these potatoes for other stuff, even a, a power source in the future uh, from Ender.io, which I probably will do. Um, so, and we'll get a lot more uh, logs and uh, uh, apples from this, and I will expand on this tree farm eventually, uh, but I'll do that a little bit later. But for now, I think this is a good wrapping up point for the episode. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed watching. Um, you know, any feedback that you guys have for me, feel free. I encourage you to put it in the comments. Um, uh, I appreciate all of the support I've been getting, um, and I will see you guys in the next episode.